wanted to ask you about um, some of the, uh, the the criminal procedure kind of elements. Um, there's a pretrial diversion program with the state attorney's office that you started. What exactly goes into that program? What, why did you feel it was necessary to start? And, and what, what kind of results have you gotten from it? When I was chief assistant state attorney, the state attorney and I decided that in that group, that very large group of cases that we get every year, there are people who've been arrested who aren't really that bad. Uh, the act of being arrested probably changed their minds about future criminality, but they needed to have it reinforced. So rather than prosecute and convict them in a court of law, we took those people and put them into programs where they would restore the victim's losses, they would do whatever it took to straighten out their lives, and they would have a chance, a second chance, another bite at the apple, and if they didn't succeed, we would prosecute them as normal cr criminals. That motivation has worked to reduce crime in Orange County, Florida, Osceola County, Florida, and it allows us to put our very limited prosecutor resource, which I have to manage every day to cover that huge number of cases, on serious cases. And only if one of the people in pretrial diversion fails do we actually have to put a lawyer on them to prosecute them. So this has helped people straighten out their lives without being criminalized. It has helped us put our prosecutor time on more serious criminals. And it's one way I have of managing this office on a limited budget. Okay, so with the, um, with the rehabilitation kind of element, that would include working with alcohol and drug treatment um, programs? Absolutely. Okay. We started with simple thefts, batteries, and so on. We expanded it to minor narcotics, possession. We expanded it to first-time drunk driving cases if the defendants meet rigid criteria. We've recently expanded it, and I'm a veteran, to help veterans who have substance abuse problems, who have acting out in public problems, and might be homeless. Just recently, the Veterans Administration receive monies to help us to domicile some of these homeless veterans and now we can do a better job with them saying on the one hand if you let VA treat you and you respond to treatment you're not going to be prosecuted but if you keep on stealing hurting whatever we'll have to prosecute you that's a new program and it's called veterans diversion and we believe that it's going to within a few years get almost every homeless veteran off the street and that's important to us as a society. Other positive results that have come from this program? When we move diversion into the juvenile arena, we have been able to turn around most of about 39% of juvenile arrestees on the first try. These are kids that are not having to be branded as, as criminals, not having to be branded as convicted, but they're kids who we've gotten back into the mainstream, school, vocational training, work, whatever, off alcohol, off drugs, and it has helped the society a lot because I don't have a lot of hope for adult mean repeater felons. The best thing I can do with most of them is ship them off. But with the, the shallow end of the juveniles, that's my area of hope to reduce criminality in the juvenile arena, and as they move into young adulthood, we firmly believe that this is going to reduce the criminality that we see in our neighborhoods. Auto theft, burglary, narcotic selling. It's working now and it's going to continue to work and we're going to have a better community because of it.